Hey guys, and welcome today on ATPL Theory. We're gonna be talking about jet streams and clear air turbulence, also known as CAT, or sometimes known as high level turbulence also, HLT. So what is a jet stream? A jet stream is essentially a very narrow, very fast moving current of air uh, located between two air masses, normally speeds over 60 knots or 30 meters per second would uh, designate it as a jet stream. High probability of wind shear, vertical wind shear. Now clear air turbulence, although it is associated with jet streams, it doesn't always have to be. Clear air turbulence is just defined essentially as medium to high turbulence, mostly free of clouds, although it can occur at high altitude with clouds, generally ice clouds, topic for another day. But mainly it occurs close to jet streams, mountain areas, or close to CBs cumulonimbus clouds, big towering cumulus, that type of thing. Another thing I forgot to mention with the jet streams, they generally occur very close to the tropopause, just slightly below the tropopause. So where and how does a jet stream occur? Well, jet streams happen on the border of two air masses. Uh, so in the Northern Hemisphere, this would be a, a low pressure area, so it would be turning anti-clockwise, and the tropical would be a high pressure, so it would be turning clockwise. Please check my other videos on air fronts, as I'm going to do a more detailed one on that. So as you can see, with that air turning like that, and that air turning like that, we're essentially gonna get a flow of air. Now the bigger and the stronger the gradient between the high and the low pressure, the bigger the jet stream is gonna get, or it will get to a stage where it becomes a jet stream. It's also the jet stream is not at ground level, it tends to be generated close to the tropopause, and that's also due to that temperature gradient as well. So it's all, it's all about these big gradients in very short distances. I mean short, you know, 1,000 kilometers, maybe 1,500 kilometers, this could be spread out over. Uh, so it's all to do with that temperature gradient and the pressure gradient generates those very strong winds as the air masses try to move into each other, basically. So that's where the jet stream comes from. So that's a view from the top. Now, if we take a cut section of two fronts, let's say the polar there on the right and the tropical on the left. So the area between these two fronts, the temperature gradient and the pressure gradient would be very substantial. In a very short distance, the change would be quite dramatic. So this is why all these high winds get caused. The jet core is always on the tropical side. So it would be right there. You can see the tropopause would be slightly lower on the polar side, uh, and it would be slightly higher on the tropical side, but the jet cores, they are always on the tropical side. So as I was saying, in fact, if we did have another colder front, let's call it on this side, it would maybe be something like that, depending if the warm one was pushing that one now, we would still get the core, the jet core, but it would be on this side. So in the tropical air mass or the warmer air mass, that's where you're gonna find the jet streams. The cores would be where the highest winds are. The wind would dissipate the further out you go from that jet core. Now from the side on view of these two air masses, you can see where the clear air turbulence is. And that is generally on the cold side uh, and slightly below the jet core. So you can see it just kind of makes that kind of little shape there. It's where the highest is where you find the highest isotack gradient. Isotacks are lines of equal wind speed. So it's basically where you find the, the highest gradient between wind speeds and hence the biggest amounts of wind shear, etc. Another short video. I hope that's cleared up any doubts you may have had on jet streams and clear air turbulence in the vicinity of jet streams specifically, uh, where they are, where they're located, and uh, how they happen. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All the best. Till next time.